Hey everyone, it's Rod. Hope you guys are enjoying this cool morning. I know I am because it's like 47 degrees outside. Man, it's a hot one this fall. So that brings me to the point I've been hounding you guys about. Find some water sources, intimate water sources. Now, some of you must be saying I don't have any of those. You probably can still capitalize on a lot of them, and maybe you don't, but don't forget that your neighbor's properties are also resources for you as well. Doesn't mean you hunt them, doesn't mean you trespass on them, but you can look at them from Google Earth and you might be able to find some areas on neighboring properties where there are in timber ponds. Why, why that's important is because you gotta remember that deer are constantly moving this time of year for the most part. And when they start running all day, they're gonna need water. You can live for weeks without food. You can only live a couple days without water. Bucks are not gonna be running their tails off without drinking somewhere. Now they will break some rules and drink out of clear creeks for sure. But uh, for the most part, they're gonna try to hit those in timber water ponds. And the other reason they do that is because they have a, uh, they know the does are there too. So sorry, I'm, I'm obviously hunting at the same time you guys are probably watching this. Hopefully you're watching this later, not right now because it's kind of go time. So that's kind of my tip for you. Make sure you're using those resources that your neighbors have around you. Even though you don't have access to them, those deer are gonna be traveling to and fro. The deer do not know property lines. They don't recognize property lines like you or I do. And uh, those of you who've been to my seminars know what I'm talking about. And those of you who haven't, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Deer are not humans. They don't think like us. So use what resources you have and the resources around you to capitalize on the movements in the next few days. It's going to be a busy couple days and uh, your antlers will be pretty effective through the beginning of next week and after that they're going to become kind of ineffective but your communication with your grunts definitely going to be uh, very active regardless of what kind of call you have. Make sure you know how to use it well, practice with it as silly as it sounds and uh, check out some of my videos. I think I just posted one, no I posted one what, yesterday uh, about just working one particular buck. It was actually first week of November so I was on a hot dough and pulled them off. It is possible. So uh, I'm gonna get back to hunting. Good luck to all you guys, and uh, I don't know. Have some fun because I'm going to see ya.